Hello again. Um, I have something kind of interesting here to look at. This is a 750 gigabyte industrial Seagate drive, um, generally used in server applications and whatnot. And this one is very much dead. Um, it was part of my server the other, um, well, not long ago, it was part of my server. And the other day I heard this really interesting screeching, clicking, crunching, just god-awful, disastrous sound coming out of it. And, uh, yeah, it refused to initialize the RAID array on there, and I pinned it down to this drive, and we're going to open it up and see what happened. I've actually already had it open once, so there's a little puncture in the label, but, so I know what's wrong with it, but we will show you guys. You get to see what happens when a head crash happens, or what, what happens when the heads crash on a hard drive. It's quite, uh, if you know much about hard drives, this will be quite gruesome to you, actually. Uh, and it explains the noises that were coming out of it. Wow, these are in there tight. I don't remember putting them in quite so tight, but hey. So yeah, this drive is totally, totally trashed. As you will soon be able to see, the surface of the platters are not in the greatest of shape. Okay, I'll go ahead and lift the lid on it here. Really, really thick metal piece. That's one of the differences between these industrial drives and a standard consumer drive. It looks like it's almost some charred spots or something on the inside, which is the greatest. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a ring right where the head's resting there on the actual surface, and it's like all chewed up looking. So yeah, the... Uh, Oops, there goes a separator. The head has been just gouging into that particular spot when it was rotating. Just eating a hole through it. Which, uh, yeah, it's it's totally, totally shot. So I don't really mind messing around with the inside. I'll probably end up stealing the magnets out of here at some point. Because, uh, as most of you guys probably know, hard drive magnets are really, really powerful neodymium magnets. And are quite fun to play with. And also are really useful for, well... What I use them for frequently is charging 18650 cells, using them to clip onto the ends. It's just something I've seen several people on YouTube do before, and it works really, really well. So I've kind of borrowed that idea, and I've been using it for my own uh, cell charging. But yeah, this drive is totally gonski. I'm kind of curious as to what the other platters look like. They might be fine. They might be totally shot as well, but I know this top one is definitely gone. Um, actually, eh, it seems to be locked. I might be able to get those platters out, but I really kind of want to keep this as one piece, just kind of to show what happens to these drives. Also, this filter looks like it's been picking up a little metal filing, so it's, that probably all came off of the surface of the platter. Um, which is a little bit unsettling. I wonder how long it had been gouging away at that before it finally gave up. Uh, it also worries me that some of my other ones may be failing, because they're all exactly the same, and they're all used. These were refurbished 750 gigabyte drives that I bought on eBay for around $20 a piece, but they've been running for years and have been fine, so I think I've gotten a good life out of them. This is actually my first one that I've had any trouble with, but uh, I do plan on replacing all of them in the system fairly soon. Actually, I want to entirely upgrade the data server, but that's going to require a lot of money because I want to put um, six three terabyte Western Digital Red drives in it in a RAID 5 or possibly a ZFS array of some sort. I'm not sure if I want to use FreeNAS or if I want to use uh, Windows Share like I'm doing now. I'm using a Windows, uh, Windows Server 2012, 
which allows me to have Plex on the same machine. But if I do FreeNAS, I can just run another small machine to run as the Plex server. Because this is my storage server, as well as media center and everything kind of all in one box. All in a nice little server enclosure. But uh, it's just due for an upgrade, really. I'm running out of space. There's only two terabytes of space on it. I'm about 75% of the way filled on that. Mainly from all the video that I've been recording. I'd say about 75% of the video that I record doesn't actually get uploaded. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's just getting time to go ahead and replace that system. Although it has been one trooper for the past three years, I want to say, I've had that running. In slightly different configurations, but it's been reliable. Really with this only, with only one real issue with it. Uh, all right. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down there in the comment section. Give it a like if you liked it, and I will catch you guys later.